Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we are taking a look at uh, something that is uh, the April 2018 update. Uh, some questions, a lot of people have been asking questions. Um, so I have a new series of questions and answers for the Windows 10 April 2019 update. Hopefully they will uh, answer some of your questions. First of all, when will it arrive is the question that everybody's asking. Well, just look at the name. April 2019. So if all goes well, if there's no last minute glitch or problem or weird thing like there was in the past, it's going to be released in April of 2019 by waves like they usually do. Slow roll out at the beginning. Just a few people will have it, then they will accelerate this. Um, and of course, more and more people will get it as time goes by. It's the first big update of 2019. Uh, if you want to see some of the new features, well, I've posted two videos in the past couple of weeks you can check out that have all the new features basically pinned down and kind of letting you know what's going to be in there. Is my computer compatible with the April 2019 update? If it's compatible with the April 2018 update or the October 2018 update, it's compatible for the April 2019 update. So whatever the age of your PC, it is going to be there um, and of course a lot of you have been asking well you know as there are more and more version of these will it slow down my PC over time not only this version will not slow down your PC really because they've been really really working hard to make sure that these uh, new versions don't really have a, a bigger footprint if you want in the uh, computer it actually might be faster for pretty much everybody and the reason why the uh, famous new way of mitigating Spectre and Meltdown security flaw in the Intel, AMD, and pretty much every processor now that we know. Um, it's actually, this new fix actually makes your PC faster. So that means not only will you not notice any slowdown, there's a good chance you will see actually your PC run faster with the April 2019 update. Um, you've been asking, how do we know it's coming soon? Well, today, February 14th, 2019, we've had the first skip ahead build for insiders on the skip ahead. That means people on the skip ahead are not testing the next version that will be probably something like the, the October 2019 update. That means the main development of the April 2019 update is on its last phase and getting close to what is going to be the final version. Now some of you asked when will insiders get it and um, you know how does it work with insiders getting it and then um, people getting it on the uh, main ring or the main updates. So because this is going to be an April 2019 update we expect the insiders to get it by the end of March. So a little more than a month from now insiders we should start getting the final build if not the final build for this April 2019 update. It's going to come out uh, probably at the end of next year, uh, next month, sorry. Remember one thing, April has 30 days, so it could be, you know, <clears throat> April 30th, like it could be April 5th. Um, they often time it with Patch Tuesday, so that could be a possibility. Um, if it is matched on Patch Tuesday of April, well, Patch Tuesday of April will be Patch Tuesday, April 9th. So we're going to look at a chance of an April 9th release of the April 2019 update. That's a possibility um, if they do observe the, uh, let's, you know, um, update it at the same time as Windows updates. But, you know, it could be any time in April. There's no official date of release right now. And uh, so, you know, <clears throat> we're marching on to the next version. And um, one of the things that um, a lot of people are wondering is how stable this will be and the stability I think to this year is the number one priority of Microsoft stability of the builds that they sent out that means that we'll probably see less new big features but more tweaking and improving and making sure that this is good and I expect April 2019 update to roll out quite well because I think they are really, really working hard to make sure that no unseen bugs or un, you know or bugs that have been reported aren't uh, fixed. They're really 
uh, working hard on this. And I think if, you know, Windows users want to keep faith in um, the Windows 10 operating system and enterprise users also, got to make sure that uh, this is good. Also, some of you have said, what about if I don't have the October 2018 update and I, they get to the 29, April 2019 update? Isn't that going to screw something because I don't have the other one? These are autonomous big updates by themselves. What that means uh, is that you do not require to have a previous version of Windows 10 uh, installed for that version to work. It's a full version in itself. A lot of people mistakenly think that when there's an update like this, it actually upgrades the components of the last version. And so you need to have October 2018 update in order to go to 2019. Uh, it's not required. And actually, you could be installing from scratch with the first ever version of Windows 10 uh, when this release is gone or is, is up. And um, you will see that it's probably going to want to jump to April 2019 update directly. Uh, in its updates. So uh, there's no requirement for you to get October to get the April. So you might actually be surprised to jump ahead. Some people have speculated that this might be happening to some of you. Jumping from the April 2018 to the April 2019 without ever seeing the October 2018. So that is not an impossible task and it's not going to break anything. Like I said, these big updates are real big full Windows installs in reality. They put aside your stuff, your programs, they install and then they put back the software and the stuff that you use. Uh, it's not like it really needs anything from a previous update to actually update itself. So um, don't be surprised if you just jump over the October 2018 update. Uh, of course we're a week away, about a week and a half away from the, uh, the, the numbers of where we are at on the October 2018 update release. I'm suspecting that throughout February, the update pace is probably going much faster. So uh, that's going to be an interesting uh, number to bring out. But uh, you know what? Then after that, there's only March. So um, I doubt that Microsoft will reach 90-some percent in um, the end of March, like they reached with the April 2018 update before October 2018 uh, arrived. So that's the latest news. That's what we know. That's what we have. And it's coming, but uh, we're still couple of months before uh, it, it gets there. And um, if you're an insider, well, I'll skip ahead, new build today, and uh, we're continuing to march towards new versions of Windows 10 for uh, the year to come. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.